my face of bewilderment. <laughs> yeah, mouth open, eyes not blinking. I'm like staring off into disbelief. That is the look of a man who's walked out this morning and cannot believe what he's looking at. That's my dumb look. That's just my, this is my dumb look. Because in fact, that is in fact, that is, that's how I walked out this morning and saw that my bulls had broken out again. Uh, friends, Lester here. Thank you all for joining me on the first in a long time of live videos here at Longhorn Lester's. Well, let's just call this the satellite. Uh, edition. We're at the satellite location of Longhorn Lester's, which is the J&L Ranch property. Yeah, Longhorn Lester's is the name of the property. It's also my nickname that I did not give myself. I did not give myself. We put up a poll, and that was the nickname because all cool channels need to have a nickname. You got to have a cool name. You got to have a cool name, and so. It was a, it was, it was, well, it was a 93% people said Longhorn Lester's. There were so many other options, but 93% of you all says, let's just call it Longhorn Lester's. And that put a lot of pressure on me. Believe it or not, having a property or a channel named after yourself is, it's a lot of pressure, okay? And it's a lot, it put me having to live up to a whole lot of expectations like I'm the Longhorn guy. Okay, well, you know what? I, I thought I could do that. I'll live up to that challenge. And it has been a challenge. I'm gonna turn around here and show you what's been going on. Let me give you a little bit of a backstory though. All right, so we've had some really beautiful work done here to the property and everything's looking so wonderful. We've invested a lot of our time, uh, energy, and money into the j &L Ranch to hopefully give the Longhorns their very best life, right? And that includes not only pasture cleanup, barn cleanup, a lot of that stuff I did myself, uh, but at some point we went ahead and hired contractors to come in and do a few other jobs for us. And we have the most beautiful fencing here ever. A fellow named Randall came in with the company and just, he really gave us the most unique and beautiful look. Maybe I'm biased, maybe I'm just being biased, but it's hard to find a more beautiful ranch property, in my opinion, than what Randall has done for us here at the j &L Ranch. Okay, with all that being said, I don't know if Randall or, or myself or anybody for that part could have predicted what strength, what brute force and strength Tex, our Longhorn Alpha male, our herd bull, had in store for this beautiful fencing here. We didn't know it at first. At first, Randall and his crew were just busy at work, and man, we were just coming by every day just like, wow, 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 wow. It's just, the wow factor was amazing. And then, last weekend, Lester sorted his bulls away from his cows. What that means is, for those who are not familiar with, with the terminology, the bulls, are the boys with balls okay bulls are boys with balls steer or boys with no balls all right and so we so sorted our bulls away from our cows our cows meaning our females we also in that group we have our calves which are the babies under a year old still nursing on mom we have our heifers who are, let's call them the teenagers, who are no longer nursing on mom, but they've never been bred, they never had babies. And then we have our cows, who are the mamas, you know, with the jugs. And so listen, we did not think it'd be a big deal. We have amazing fencing, we have great fencing. What could go wrong? What could go wrong with this amazing fencing? We put a two by six, treated, solid two by six across the top. Uh, so when they put their heads over, they can't, push into the wire 
and then we had four strands of very heavy duty, I forgot the gauge, but a very heavy gauged barbed wire. Barbed wire has little prinks, little prongs on it that'll stick them, and that will prevent them from pushing them their way through. Little did we know, the call of the wild, my friends, the call of the wild is quite, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite the calling. And I joke, <laughs> I do, I joke. I joke and I don't think, I think that we have forgotten, as we have all gotten older, and I'm, I think that most of y'all are about my age, uh, 40s, 50s, maybe 60s, some are older, some are younger, but I think that we forget sometimes how strong the call of the wild can be. And when I say call of the wild, what I'm referring to is that deep yearning, just to, just that yearning, you just, just can't stop that feeling deep inside of me. And so the bulls had that yearning desire to mix it back up with the ladies, right? The bulls had that burning desire to reconnect with the ladies and they found a way to do that. <laughs> Someone says build a wall. <laughs> yeah, this might be, we might could put us a, a GoFundMe to build a wall. That's funny. Listen, I wanna show you, I, I, so I, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm not trying to discount or dis, discount the amazing work that Randall and his crew did because I've never been more impressed with fencing and I've done lots of fencing everyone knows I'm a fence builder I love to build and I can do it pretty good it's a lot of work but I can build but Randall and his crew not only can build but they can add a little bit of something that I really can't do which is class and style and just this beautiful design right Lester, why are you up and down on YouTube? Oh my God, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why I'm up and down on YouTube. I know you wanna watch on your TVs, right? Okay, so but let's just get back to the video. I, I really do think I'm a master fence builder. I can build all kinds of fencing. I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I'm not great, but I'm pretty good. But I'm also getting older, okay? And I was just trying to find a way to really class up this property. It's right here on the interstate. Uh, we are half a mile from the interstate. Thousands of cars pass every day. And I wanted it to be just beautiful, just beautiful. Randall's done that. But let me turn you around and show you what our bulls have done with Randall's work. You ready for this? Okay. I'm going to turn you around now. I'm going to turn you all around and we're going to keep talking. But I want you to see this with your own eyes. How do I turn this around? Here we go. Okay. So, this was what we were going to have as our bullpen. Bullpen, like in baseball, the bullpen, right? Our 13 acres, beautiful pond. Uh, we put a barn, uh, not, uh, not your traditional barn, but a shelter. So our cows have a place to go in inclement weather. I mean, we did it right. We have our loading chute, our squeeze chute all there in the back behind it. This was our bullpen. Plenty of grass. We had it fertilized. Man, we have a wonderful setup over here. What you can't see is we have our toys hanging off in the distance. We have a blue barrel. We hang from a tree where the bulls have some form of entertainment. Okay, fine. Everything, this, you're like, oh, Lester, didn't look too shabby to me. Lots of good, you know, clean grass to eat. You got plenty of pastures. You know your animals are not going to be hungry. Uh, they got a, even a feed buggy you take back and forth for them to give them a little, you know, nutritional supplements. It looks wonderful, Lester, and your fencing looks really nice. That's a really nice style of fencing. Right alongside your driveway, what can go wrong? Well, over here in this back pasture, we have a 25 acres for our 15 ladies. We have 15 ladies, y'all. 15 beautiful ladies. In all of that group, there's a couple of calves, a few heifers, and some cows. Okay, they also have their little barn structure to get out of the weather. They have their own really nice pond, and just like I said, tons and tons of wonderful grass. Plenty of shade. Man, everyone should be happy, right? They should all be so happy. Except they're not. They're not happy because the boys want to be 
in the yard with the ladies. Remember the song? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Damn right, it's better than yours. You, you, you know. Okay, you know this milkshake song. You all know the milkshake song. And I'm guessing the milkshakes, plural, the milkshakes, absolutely wanted to bring all of the boys into their yard. So what happened first was the bulls, in typical bull fashion, began to walk along the fencing, Randall's beautiful fencing, looking for weak spots. Man, they paced up and down, up and down, back and forth. They were just pacing this fence line, trying to find themselves a weak spot. It took them about a week. They finally found one, and it was right here. This was the first spot they found to be weak. Now, I've done a little bit of patching and repairing since Randall and him have all left. I did not, and I could not get it as tight as I wanted it to be, but this was all torn apart right here. The bulls found their way into this corner right here next to the ladies, and they destroyed this corner over here. All right, like I said, I've come back. I spliced some wire together. I, I did the best that I could to get it back intact, and I thought, okay, well, maybe that will work. Maybe that'll hold. We'll be fine. <sighs> well, guess what? Let me walk through my gate here and show you something. Last night, last night the bulls were like saying, you know what? I just can't stop that yearning. I cannot stop my yearning. Daddy, I love you. I love you, Daddy, but I cannot stop my yearning. And the bulls, in fact, did have a yearning to come back with the ladies again. And so they come walking along my fence, trying to test it all out. And guess what my bulls did? They allowed the call of the wild. They did. They allowed the call of the wild to start pushing and shoving on my barbed wire fencing. And now they have broken through a second time. Now, here's the thing. Both times, it was right here in this corner. This is the corner that they're busting through. So, I've uh, contacted Randall. He is absolutely 100% going to stand behind his work. And he says, you know what? You got my word. I will be there. I will patch it up. I'll get it. We, we're going to make this thing work for you, Lester. We're going to make it work. I'm like, thank you, Randall. <laughs> thank you, Randall. Uh, and he will. Randall and his guys, it's very rainy today. And there's not going to be much work done today. I says, Randall, there's no rush. I'm not going to rush you over here because all of my cows are bred anyway. And that is true. All of our cows have been bred. We're not in any fear of any kind of inline breeding or anything that we don't want to have happen. So all of our cows are bred. We're not in, a, we're not in any kind of trouble as far as that goes. But our bulls are absolutely in with our, with our cows as of right now. We're going to walk over and visit, okay? But... Oh, how frustrating. The fencing is beautiful, y'all. It is beautiful. And I will absolutely stand behind Randall and his crew, his business, because what I saw those guys do in a very short time was just, it was just jaw-dropping. It was beautiful work. And I'm very impressed. <sighs> but I'm also frustrated, not with Randall, just with my bulls. Anyway, I do have a, now I'm getting myself quite muddy here. I'm trying to dodge and walk around the mud and I just can't do it. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. Everyone knows that normally your gates are traditionally the weakest part of a fence. Seriously, you hear me right. The gates are normally the weakest point of any fence. But it turns out that that corner right there may in fact be our weakest spot. And so we're going to have to eventually get over there and get Randall to rep you know, repair or replace that one corner. And then I'm thinking finding maybe uh, something else, maybe a small section of electric fencing, possibly. They have that solar electric fencing. But for everyone who says uh, electric fencing is the key, don't forget that the bull's horns, the cow's horns in general, they are conductors. Is that the right word? They are conductors of electricity. 
So horns cannot be shocked. You cannot electrify a fence to shock the cow's horns. And they do in fact tear down your fences using their horns, not their bodies. So I don't know if electric fencing is the right word. Guys, that may not be the correct term. Conducting, I think a conductor of electricity is what allows it to push along. That's not what I mean. I mean, never, it's like take a piece of wood. You can touch electric fence with a piece of wood and it's not going to shock you. Cow's horns are similar. They're, the shock is not gonna go through a cow's horn. So when in fact they use their horns to destroy the fencing, they're gonna use their horns to pull down that electric fence as well. Oh my gosh. We have little Gary babysitting. Little Gary is babysitting again. Poor little Gary. Uh, he's one of our bulls, but uh, he's, he's, he's lame. So yeah, we are in quite the pickle here this morning. We're in quite the pickle. I'm not worried because nothing's being bred right now, but our bulls are in fact out on pasture with our cows, which was not <laughs> what we wanted to see. Careful there, Sadie. I'm gonna walk over and show you the leader of all of these brutes. He's our alpha, he's our herd bull, our breed bull. Even though we do have, he, he does have his backup, he has his backup. We're gonna walk over and have a little peek. This is Gracie, who many of y'all think is our most pretty cow. She is gorgeous. She's not my prettiest cow. I think this one right here is my prettiest little girl. I love her. And that one right there, I love her too. Oh, I love these girls, because they love me. Any cow that loves me, I'll love them right back. I will. I'll love them right back. Uh-oh, -uh, no, stop doing that. That's not how you show love, sweetie. You gotta show love in a, there you go. That's showing me love. That's a good way to show me love right there. Danny, show me some loving. Danny, show me loving. Okay, Sadie, I love you too, but look out, Sadie. We're in trouble. All right, so there's our other bulls over on the ground there. We have, that's Waylon, and then that's little Gary. Little Gary is the low man on the totem pole. And that's why he's in charge of babysitting. Yeah, he's having to babysit this morning. He does not like having to be babysitter. But he also likes having a purpose. And his purpose is, in fact, to babysit. So he's like, you know what? Fine. Give me a job and I'll do it. Just give me a job and I'll do it. Just please allow me to stay a part of the herd. Gary's also not a longhorn. You may have noticed that. Gary is not a longhorn like Tex. Hi, buddy. I know it's not your fault, sir. I know it's not your fault. I know it's not your fault. You just like to push your limb. Uh-uh, look out, Sadie. It's not his fault, y'all. Do not blame him because it is not his fault. Run, Sadie. Just run. I'm running too. We're all running from the big, from Tex. We're just going to all run. Anyway, all the cows looking wonderful. I wanted to come this morning and just show you all a little bit of what's going on with uh, our fencing situation. Let you know that our friend Randall and his crew will be back out shortly to patch and repair that fencing. And at that point, we will have to try to find a way to resort our cows again. I also wanna say, ouch. So the reason that I'm screaming like a schoolgirl is because this girl's right behind me, nudging me in the rear. But uh, no. A little bit of drama here at the JL Ranch property, which, like I said, is a satellite <laughs> version of Longhorn Lester's. Oh, sweetie, please, just be so sweet. Can you just not be sweet? She's like, I'll be sweet if you scratch my back. Well, yeah, we'd all be sweet for that. I wish someone would scratch my back, sweetie. Mm, I will love you. I scratch your back all day, sweetie. You got a good back to scratch. Look at her. She's changing colors with the sun. She's starting to bleach out a little bit. Sweetie, you are a wonderful little girl. You're a wonderful little lady. Friends, I'm also going to remind you of one last thing now that I have you all here. Um, Longhorn Lester's YouTube will become a very active channel for anything and everything Longhorns. 
So don't expect to find a whole lot of Longhorn. Don't, don't expect to find anything on Longhorn Lester's Facebook because we've in fact lost our privileges and don't ask me how because I've had, I have no explanation. No one's told me anything except that you're not getting paid anymore. And so I'm no longer able to make a for a living on my Facebook. So we will be doing everything with Longhorns here on our YouTube channel. I've invited Facebook people to come over and join us. I don't know who will, if anybody. Sometimes Facebook people are very stuck in their ways. But we are, I hope that you all will come on out and support us and what we're doing here. And when I say support, just enjoy a video. Maybe like, comment, share it if it's one you want to share with your friends. Talk about it. This here's Ruby. And look at the color of her. Look at her colors changing. She used to be so... She used to be a red cow. Now she's such a strawberry blonde. And she's my good girl. We love her so much. Yes, we do. All right. Well, listen. Uh, I will say I do have a, a plan in place for in case the fizzing does not work. If Randall and his guys do come out and they work on that fencing, yet it still does not hold up, then I do have a plan in place. I know you're not going to like it, but uh, I will let you know that it's possible I'll just be taking and turning my hay field, which is a 10-acre pasture, up in the far corner and turning that into my bullpen. I'll have to, at some point, get some kind of a structure built over there for inclement weather. I'll have to also run a water line because we do not have a natural water source in that pasture. But I will do whatever it takes to give these babies their best life. And as beautiful as it is to watch them all out here together, sweetie, settle it down. Your place is so rough. You just can't be a responsible owner of cattle and uh, allow inline breeding. Everyone knows that it happens. It happens a lot. But that's mostly for cows that are off to be processed, not for fine cows who have a beautiful and strong bloodline like these here. All right, friends. Well, listen, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I want to thank you all for watching. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Look at that pretty tail. You got a pretty tail. All right, baby. Daddy loves you so much, okay? All right, my friends. This is Longhorn Lester signing out. We'll talk to you guys on the next video. Have a great day. We love you.